All right, you're gonna see he's doing a countdown because he's set for 60 seconds, one minute. So, action. Okay, test is done, complete. If we look over here, we have a DP measurement, which is dry, dry, dry density and WD, which is the wet density. Wet density is what you need. So all of this that we have done up to now with the machine and everything, it's just because you need the wet density. In this case, 130.6 WD, 130.6. That's the value that you're going to recall. That's the value that you're going to recall. You're going to write it down on your piece of paper. Now you move your gauge machine out of the way to a safe place. Safe place. Safe. You just got the wet density in the machine, in the gauge machine, which was 132.2. Okay? So you write it down. Yeah. Okay, now you need the speedy test. The speedy machine. Okay, speedy. See? This is the most important part of the speedy, is the dial gauge. Okay, and that's where, how you're gonna get your measurement. You have this. I got the balls. Steel balls. The steel balls. I got two balls. You carry this guy, the speedy, as a baby. And you put the balls slowly inside. The other ball. you testing on. You widen out, you hold a little bit. Okay? Very important. Instead of this, you're using a spoon that looks like the spoon in your house. And instead of this, you're using a, actually a seal cup. Okay, a seal. You open it, you grab the sample with the spoon. Your sample should not have any uh, piece of soil that is greater than uh, any, rock. any rock that is greater than one quarter, one quarter of an inch. Okay. You try to get sample at least for two tests. Here it goes. You want it without losing moisture. The machine, okay, now we have the weight machine. Um, so we need to have 20 grams, so you put the cap in there first. You zero it, and now you got zero grams. Okay. And you're gonna need 20 grams. Not 26. When it's too windy, you should do this inside your truck. There you go. With the truck uh, turn off, so you don't have vibrations that affect your weight. All right, now you grab this guy. Again, like a baby. All right. You gotta do it this way because if you just throw it in there, it's gonna react before ahead of time. So you put it slowly in there. You seal it. Okay. Make sure you tie it really good. That way, no reagent will come out. And now, to perform the speedy test, you just gotta, you gotta bounce these balls for a whole minute. Now, not bounce it, you have to roll it inside, all right? 
So you have, you got to look at that sound. There is bouncing. You don't want bouncing. You want rolling. Like that. You hear that? Rolling. That's it. How many minute gone by? Okay, now you look at the dial. Dial gauge. Okay, you look at it. It says nine. But um, you want to pop it a little bit like that to see if it keeps moving. Okay, tap it a little bit. Tap it. See if it keeps, keeps moving. Uh, is it steady or is it moving? It's steady, okay? It's not moving anymore. But if it's moving, if you see that it still moves a little bit, what you do is that you go again. You ten roll more it. seconds. Maybe 10 more seconds, and then you come back and look at it again. Okay? But right now it's not moving, so it's 9.2. Okay, 9.2. Each of the little lines is 2. Okay, 9.2. That is your measurement. Come back to your paper. Nine, right? 9.2. Uh, 9.2. Okay. Now that you have those measurements, you go to the table. Table one says for sand and light granular material. The material that we got here is not sand. So you go to table two. Table two for coarse burial materials. You're using this one. All right, what do you do? You get that number, the number you got from the speedy test, the moisture content, 9.2. You come on the left side of the table, you find 9.2, 9.2. And then you find the match on the right side, 9.7. And that's the one that you're gonna use. That's your percent percentage moisture. 9.7 This is the guy 9.7